So there you go, there is one weekend in the year where they do pull out the old buses, like the one I used to catch to school in Coffs Harbour when I was a young man, and there we go, it must be this weekend coming. I just got fed up with the traffic on Military Road, so it was horrendous. Good morning. I'm going down, and then I go up, and then I'll figure it out. All right, into Cicada Creek, is that right? I think that's where I'm going. That's next, and then Paradise. So that's Macars Creek Road, so I'm about to go uphill. But it's a really, really gentle, passive climb, and um, most of the way. And I was sort of aiming to go with the wind, but it's quite hard to tell, but there's actually very, very, very little wind. In about four or five weeks time, this is going to be like so noisy here. So it's kind of bizarre talking to the camera now, basically because there's no cicadas. Just a bit of tourism, um, because that's what you come to expect. And ideally there won't be goannas everywhere. Is it here? No. There's a little track. Uh, it's that one back there, hang on. If you're following me on Strava, you'll probably be like, what the hell, what's he doing? I've got a little park up spot. So, there's the old girl, needs a bit of a service. You can see bees kicking out some pollen out of some flowers just here. And I'm just next to a billabong, I'm going to show you. Okay, here we go. Good things. Not a bad day, eh? Hey? Not bad. Uh, so, there we go. Bit grubby today, isn't it? Won't be long. I'm sure there'll be a storm or two soon. That's so pretty, eh? Hey? Not a bad way to spend a Thursday morning. And now I'm gonna go and eat some food and go home and do some work. All right, so tourism with my town was Rob. Right. I'm gonna put my shoes back on. Clip in, pedal, and no go Annas. It was Verandah Creek. It's just on Macars Creek Road. Okay. Birdies agree. And if you know this stretch of road and you know me, you know I'll be distracted. Oh, it's pretty and there's no traffic. And there's bird song and beautiful trees and getting warmer. Oh, is that, it's showing 31. Yeah, it feels warm. 
um, on it. Great conditions for riding. 31, that's surprising. Haven't seen that for a while. All right, summer's here. Time to have some fun. Yeah, so I'm there again, and I found a bloke, Edwin, and uh, we're riding home together. Edwin put these bars on ages ago. Remember that? Originally, yeah. Yeah, anyway, they're terrific, and he's quite clearly riding with Oliver's real food, so, um, and he's trying to win the Nationals <laughs> under 23. I won't talk him up, but, uh, do you like trees, Edwin? I love trees. Look at them. They're good, eh? Very we, nice. Should we do a cycling Sorry. interview? No, I don't want to do that. Let's look at the view. All right, so in, what do we say? One minute, quick overview of your lockdown experience and then what comes next? Well, listen, lockdown was very hard. We had to do a lot of Ks on the indoor trainer. The motivation was very, very low with no racing and any events in sight. So just to come out of lockdown and have all this freedom again, it really just boosts the morale for everyone. And I think everyone's just super red hot and keen to get back into racing. So hopefully this weekend and the weeks to come, we'll, uh, we'll get some good, good racing in. And finally, we'll uh, scratch that itch. We've been waiting a year to do. So, uh -huh. yeah. So you remembered how to go around corners and use your brakes <laughs> oh, and things. I don't know if I've really ever learned, but <laughs> we're, uh, it's, it's a learning process. Maybe by the end of the year, I'll figure it out. I think you nailed it though. Just uh, com uh, Actually, lockdown served us well in some ways because now we can appreciate the little things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> All right, shall we climb? Uh, we're not racing, pacing, not racing. But uh, should we have a look at his bike? There's a lot of cars now, it's ugly, but I'll film it anyway. Yeah, so this is a Smell S5 provided by Oliver's Real Food Racing, as we're sponsored by Oliver's. I've got my own NV 5.6s on here, running 25mm Conti GP 5000s. I have a Rota Alju aluminium crank set running a 53-36 um, gear ratio and a power to max spider to give me all my power readings. Um, in addition to that, I've got a Siggy direct mount hanger on the derailleur, just cleans things up quite nicely, makes this thing a little bit better. I run a 11-30% and that pretty much gives me all the range I need to spin out up every single time because you've got to be spinning to win these days and tying it all together it's just humble Octegra R8, R8070 um, Hydro Di2 no Jira Ace for me because I often just crash and break it all so yeah. it's a bit cheaper to replace our road is run, our roads run out so <laughs> there ends the interview That flag report is crazy, like, just to, for the record, it's one o'clock in the afternoon and 32 degrees and there's not a breath of wind, not a breath. It's crazy. So if anyone complained about riding today, except for a bit of heat, they basically like to complain. There was nothing to complain about, was there? Oh, nothing at all. Happy days. The only thing you complain about is going too fast. <laughs> hey, thanks for the ride, Edwin. Oh, Enjoyed thanks. it. Good to get a tow. <laughs> um, and we'll see you out of the racetrack one day. <laughs> yeah, come down here from park. Any day, I'll be there.
Heffron stuff on Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. So, oh, there's Randwick Racing as well. They asked me to put up a mention, so I'll just check. What's the Randwick Club called? Randwick Botany? Yeah, Randwick Botany. And then you can use the Google, and the Google will deliver you to the timetable. And hopefully, we'll get back to what we knew in the before time. People racing, talking, socialising, getting competitive, and then slapping each other on the back and saying, well done, buddy. Yeah? Biggest price is safe racing. Come on. All right. Signing off from this little structure. Look at that rust. Oof.